So just awaiting the little raced countdown timer to start qualifying over here. Fourteen drivers are on track. I think that's gonna be a decent number. But in the meantime, since our usual guy isn't here, I guess I'll take it from the top. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome all, welcome all, welcome all to round three of the FTC Truck Racing Championship Season 2. Today, your hosts are not the usual pair, in a different way even. Um, we have a single here today, but... Usually, here, Metal will be doing all of these announcements. And I think uh, what's interesting we... compared to when Metal is here, there's no overlays when FS is here, but at this time it's the other way around! Yeah, exactly. It's, uh, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be pr in an interesting night seeing how you and I connect in the commentary booth. Uh, however, uh, I think Metal is just not here because he's trying to hide that he's failing. No, not November. Anyway. Uh, qualifying about to commence here, um, and in the meantime, I will explain quickly how every race format is for the truck series over here on FTC. So, two races of a 25 minute uh -oh. length with a with a grid setting for the first round via qualifying. However, the second race will, will have a full reverse grid setup, meaning that. If you finish well in the second first race, you might have a good shot at a call at a good finish position in the second race. We've seen what reverse grid poles can do um, at Mugello, if you remember, with Tonic holding pretty much everyone up um, and causing Sainty a shock win. Ver, currently on qualifying. Quick explanation about that as well. We will have two fast laps for these drivers, with them currently being out on their slow lap. So they better don't make any mistakes before they have to go all out. And I think we're looking at the best time lapse from what I caught during the small practice session that was. I think the fast people is just reaching into 22s. Well, the average person seems to be around 23s, plenty of 24s. I have no real expectation of who will be the fastest here, considering these are trucks, so it's a completely different driving style that you have to adapt, of course, with the very torquey engine and the weight and the understeer and all that stuff. They're pretty fun to drive and race, but not for the faint of heart in terms of, like, if you prefer your cars, you're probably gonna stick with, you know, something similar. And then they also have the gearing is, if you don't get that correct, it's falling behind, like I experiment with like stock gearing and others who have tuned the gears. You just get falling behind because you're stuck shifting and shifting and shifting. Yes, this is also something Tonic also learned the hard way back in Mugello where she was stuck with automatic gearing and was a bit of a sitting duck on the straightaway and causing also a part of that traffic jam that she caused. Still, um, I hope she's, uh, in the meantime, learned her lesson and hopefully has switched to manual gears, which will be very beneficial. At least manual, okay. but not manual with clutch, hopefully. Unless yeah, one just can at handle least it. Manual. Yeah, at least manual. That's uh, what I use uh, in FTC. All courtesy of Jubert, um, sort of pushing me in that direction to change, and it's been a, a big improvement. At least if you're not too used with racing with clutch, a normal manual is the way to go. Yes. Yes, some cars is gonna suffer a little bit in terms of if it's like older slow cars because of how the yeah. gear gearbox is, but at the same time, if you're raising simulation damage, you're just gonna fry your engine and gearbox. Uh, meantime, we have currently our first laps and their times coming in over the timeline. Uh, currently, our provisional pole sitter is Mesa Sphere, and Sainty is not too far behind. Both of them are in the 123s, it seems. Although Mesa has a big 
a big advantage of 0 0.4 seconds over Sainty. Crow dons them, but only in the 124s. And further down, we then have Heiko, Alan Toast, Aaron McGrath, Bazaar, Tomic, Jubert, Sakura, Stug, Nelly, and Infernus and Stereo Jacks. So, currently, that's inter interesting, to be honest. Uh, Mesa is typically... I mean, we haven't really seen much from him in recent series, so it's good to see that he's making a bit of a charge in the trucks. Before we continue, I think we have to point out Armagrass livery for today. Let's take a look at that. I'm not sure if you read the media section, but he's done a tribute paint for a retired... Uh, yes. or I think they were retiring this weekend after a Sunday race, I believe it was? Yes, it has been announced that arguably one of the single greatest motorcycle racers in the history of its sport is retiring. Oh, it's and I, ju I just saw something I want to think about it. I like, I swear I've seen that, what's that on the back of the truck, the doctor somewhere. And it's the mo yellow monster that says the doctor on it. Oh. I'm gonna miss if that thing drink's gonna stop. I'm gonna be so mad. Yeah. And that's currently qualifying. I be I have no real clue to see. I, I wasn't really able to catch who secured pole, so we'll have to change that. Or let's at least check the results. So it seems to... Me oh, Stuck in the 133s. But that's a dirty lap. But he got Sainty with a 22, that I believe he is going to start on P1. That's a very strong result from Sainty, having found like, what, 0 And Sakurai P2! Oh my god, oh let's freaking go. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, this the big one of the biggest memes and another one of the biggest memes. If you remember, Sainty was Mr. Budget DRS during the Formula 4 series. And of course, Sakura being one of our favorite uh, guys in the team. Meaning that we have probably one of the greatest front rows in an FTC race yet. But uh, yeah, Stuck is going to be kicking himself because... It was a very fast lap, but it's dirty, so that means he will be bringing it up on the rear alongside Avernus. This is definitely going to be a very interesting grid here on Catalonia National. Interesting layout to be honest now, Catalonia. But before I talk about Catalonia, we should probably thank one of our greatest friends here over on the FTC channel. Uh, Haseo, you know what to do. Play that thing. Yes, Forza Com GG. It's one of our closest friends here on FTC. Um, to have as much exposure and, and watching people and, 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 you know, discovering FTC and all. They're a great friend of them. Show them some love on Twitter. Show them some love on their socials. And again, thank you very much, Forza Com GG, for your support. Hello, Jibber. Metal, knows, Metal knows, knows a lot better, or at least knows how to do those things properly. It's the first time I have to say that. Very good first attempt. I, 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 Although, I, I, here's you, the one taking the initiative, or just be just slapping and hit his face. <laughs> if you think about it, usually I'm the one slapping it at in his face, and he's like going all crazy, like, oh, you swine. Eagle Wish, do you think he's gonna peek in and see how we're doing today? Wait, what was that? You think he's gonna pop it in the chat like I usually do? You mean metal? Yeah. I don't know. An allow tonic! It's only, of course, to be the drivers here in the series. Um, she's gonna probably give her, uh, RP, her POV. Uh, every single post race, she qualified, I think, somewhere further down the grids in the 125s. Yeah, that's sort of like lower end midfield. When I did in practice, I managed actually 23 8, although it was, I never got a clean lap. Yeah, I mean, it's good that you're fast, but if you can't 
even on the track now, what's the point of driving fast? So, yeah, Catalonia, what should we know about it? Well, it's the test circuit for Formula 1 every single year, except this year, because of COVID, uh, they moved that to the Bahrain uh, circuit, which was the opening round of the 2021 season this year. However, Catalonia, it's a track that doesn't really host a lot of overtaking, if I may be uh, a little bit uh, blunt. Hello, but, Toast. Um, Mr. Alan Toast, also one of the drivers here in this championship, and also one of a uh, shock pace haver, if if you ask me. He's pretty decent behind the wheel, uh, if we've seen that during the DBR9 spec series a few uh, weeks ago. Yeah, some people might be surprising, and then you have people who are like, oh, should we go? And then they come into a truck and like, what the hell I'm gonna do? Then they who people who are terrible at other cars and they get in drinking like, I'm running away. Yeah, I mean, you, just because you're not fast in something specific doesn't mean you're not fast at all, you know, just... Like, you can so, be specialized. And I think it's also the feel of certain cars, just some people manage to pace other cars better than others. I'm definitely one who struggles with some cars. But it also has a lot to do with tuning on, you getting comfortable driving it. Yeah, that's one thing. Just be, like, everybody has their, you know, their own sweet spot. You know, I like how this car handles. I prefer oversteer or I prefer understeer or speed or downforce. Everybody has, you know, that, that's, you know, operating window, so to say. I mean, my preferred car, kind of car, is one that at least doesn't really kick the back lots like i don't mind people cars that let the back end go but it depends on how much and how it's easy to like maintain like yeah like how how close can we keep it to that you know that slight margin before the car goes into oversteer which is of course i mean you have them of course push it but doesn't mean you you know can't Currently waiting more people to ready up before we go green for the first race of the third round of the truck series, series uh, season two. I'm expecting perhaps maybe a few dives going into the opening hairpin here, uh, something that we don't really see a lot, or rather we don't see a lot of tracks, you know, utilizing that kind of cut off hairpin. No, but I do remember in all the Formula 1 games, track did not look like this at some certain points in time. That is true. That is true. They have altered the track slightly uh, twice in the last 15 years, I believe. Um, and uh, isn't this kind of the same for Silverstone, that that has also gone through a few in inserations as well? Oh! Well, I got disconnected. Don't worry. We did lose the camera, we just lost a second of the commentary a little bit. D don't worry, don't worry. I got this covered, give me a second here. Thank you, SAO. But yeah. It's not the first time, and it's probably going, not going to be the last time me dis uh, that I'm disconnecting from, you know... It's been a very sessions. long time since I've actually played a Formula 1 specific game. I think the last one I had myself... Oh, that's an old one. The last one I, I had, had was probably 6 or 7. A man of my heart. Formula 106. That brings... That was my very... <laughs> that was... No, seriously. That was my very first racing game. I got that alongside with my PlayStation 2 for Christmas in 2006. Yeah. I played it a bit. And one thing for me is when I played those older games, I didn't play short versions of the track. I usually went full length. Like real and life full length. length. Races. But. That story will have to wait. Um, usually, usually, Metal will be saying here, 
are you about to go? Are you ready, gentlemen, in the chat and all that stuff? However, that's not the case. I'm gonna be trying my own uh, version of uh, his lights out and the way we go. And let's boost and... it up! <laughs> oh boy, this is gonna be very, very interesting. Let's get hyped, let's get pumped, let's get ready to race. Round one, or rather race one of round three is about to go underway here. It's go time for race one of round three. And we're on the way here at Catalonia. Very strong start from uh, Sainty Boy. They're leading side by side down on turn one. Who's going to make the dive? They're not really fanning out just yet. Sainty holding inside line. Nice and tidy there. Oh, he's okay, keeping him. It's free wide between Crow, Sakura, and Mesosphere. Sainty coming out out of the lead in the first turn. Keeping the others in check for now. But Misa already moved up into P2 after Sakura lost out. Yeah, bad start from Sakura. And Mesa Sphere can now go on V charge. And I think someone is drifting as Sakura going into the gravel and losing even more positions. Zero Hazar going to P8 on the ticker noticed. Who's that all the way in the back? Inferno's all the way drawing the back, seeming to slightly struggle a little bit. Ooh, we got a major in the hairpin. Oh, yeah. It's oh, a hold bit on. of a scramble as well in the midfield. Look at how uh, the trucks collecting left, right, and center. Uh, that's, uh, I've linked zero. Uh, is that zero going back? Or Nelly? No, it's Nelly dropping all the way at the back after going in the grass. Meanwhile, Aaron McGrath taking P6 away from Zero New Hazar. And then going through the final turn here in Aaron's specific truck. Here comes Zero Nuazar on the main straightaway. I think he has the bit of a speed advantage going down, but here. No, he goes. I think actually McGrath managed to get a good drive out of the final corner. And he's actually leaving Hassar behind, but Hassar got the inside look. Yes, he's coming oh, he, on the inside. On the inside of um, Heiko here. We're going back now up the hill in the infield center. So trying to cover off Sakura. The BWT sponsored Mercedes truck is now on the inside. Here comes Sakura. Side by side they go over the hill. Very far by her and here comes Sakura. He goes in the gravel. Not the greatest start that he could have ever hoped for, especially starting on the second position on the front row and losing out on more positions as we go. Nightmare start from, um, for Sakura. Seems like Hassar as well have messed up and fell behind as he's not chasing McGrath anymore. And he's just fair to be on the inside of Saint to go side by side to this final chicane here. It's already a battle for the lead. They rob and bump, and Mesa Sphere takes the lead. But Saint is trying to undercut, but he gets it just on the. Oh, he got his wheel alongside Misa on the inside of the final turn. The contact. Ooh, Misa just. Managed to stay after a little contact. Mesa now looking for a block on the inside line and Sainty just tucking in behind. Not using the slipstream because these things don't have a slipstream. They have the aerodynamic value of the Titanic. Although, Mesa. keep in mind the one ahead is the one pushing there, so the one behind will technically benefit more from staying behind. Of course. Although, with Force of Physics, it's not the greatest effect, regardless of the vehicle. Yes. Meanwhile... Ooh, a Sainty going on the dive into the big hairpin! He gets ahead! Oh, but here comes Mesa around the outside and makes the move stick as well. Now on the inside here, on the top of the most... But are we seeing an undercut from Sainty? Oh, oh yeah! Here comes Heiko! But with these two battling, Heiko is definitely seems to be catching the boat. Yeah, Heiko is catching up as we speak. I already noticed that. And in fact, I think we might look for a four year battle between Sainty, Mesa, Heiko, and Crow. If this keeps on going for much longer, these two better make it quick because they're losing a lot of time. Although, the more the battle. The more the merrier. Yes, that is true. 
Right, on the... Here comes Satan with a ginormous dive bomb! They <laughs> crash and they collect! This is not ideal for both of them. Heiko takes, a ma takes the race, race heal away and, Hi and Crow goes in second. Drama oh, holds no. and we're only in fourth lap. What a maneuver. <laughs> I think he overestimated his brakes. Uh, that, that, that was one hell of a dive bomb. <laughs> he, he didn't make it stick. Uh, wait, is Saint Australian? I think he's Australian, isn't it? No, he's uh, <laughs> British. Oh, he's British. I thought he was Australian, so that I can make a Daniel Ricardo joke out of that. But uh, that's, keep uh, in mind that Saint is also the one who constantly keep having internet issues for some odd reason when he's get in the series. Although, I mean, even with internet issues. Give credit where, to, uh, where credit is due for Sainty. He has done, uh, well, he's done some important stuff. Don't forget with um, Tora, of course, uh, where he, what is it? He bought a fresh console and then had to install via phone and work or something? I don't really know the I full scale of the story. He, if I remember correctly, he doesn't even have, have a landline. He's all wireless, even his internet at home. Oh, hold on, P3, we have to... I think there's a bit of a side by side action going. Yeah, P3 and P4. Who's that? Um, Sakura and Joubert. That's a, that's a battle we haven't seen before on FTC. And Sakura going even wider and Joubert taking uh, advantage of that. I think Sakura is really struggling with the pace today. D D Sa I don't know what it's, what's up with Sakura, but he's. And uh, Sakura even what? Goes... Yeah, uh, I'm not really Sakura. sure what's going on with Sakura today. Is this when I'm gonna be cheeky and like jump into the radio, which comes to me like, Hey Sakura, is everything okay? Um, we can't, we'll know, but Sakura's now being caught even by some of the back markers, but they shouldn't be too much of a problem. In fact, look and look, 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 here we go, Tonic and Serial Jax, that doesn't um, happen a lot. But before that, we got Misa chasing down Jubert for that P3. Yeah, Zoom should not be uh, counting his chickens until they hatch because Mesa is putting a lot of pressure on him. And don't forget, there's also a pit stop in this race. And, so and Zubert is like, Zubert. nope, nope, I'm not battling. I'm running to the pits. I'm GTFO out of this. So now Mesa can go Although, and push and push. I think this is a wise choice for Zubert because I think he will lose more trying to keep Mesa back than going to the pits. That might be an interesting call to make indeed. So the 69 truck of Zubert going in the pits. Crow's currently in 9, but that means he's been in the pits and I believe it's Heiko running away in the lead. At least for now, but yep, that's true. The BWT livery truck of Heiko is currently in the lead. However, he still to take his pit stop and he doesn't... He shouldn't consider overcutting too much because he might lose that advantage from the moment he loses time, pit immediately. Now we got Schubert battling with Alan Toast. And we also have him seeing Sainty just ahead. But I believe Sainty did his pit stop after incident, I believe. Just get Probably. out of the way. Probably. Looking down or further through the field, not much is going on to be honest. Maybe between Alan Toast Ooh. and Joubert. Yeah, here comes Alan Toast. A bit single file action going on here, but um, Alan Toast looking for a way past Joubert right now. These are wide, so you don't want to go too wide everywhere because you want to have the room. Yes. And especially in times like these, um, the more room you can get, the safer it will be for everyone. However, in, more, in uh, racing out on track, doesn't really follow COVID guidelines. Why am I bringing this, all of this up? I'm not sure what I'm talking about. Please help me. Meanwhile, um, <laughs> Alan Toast is losing lots of ground to Jubert, so his shifting is not really up to par, I guess you could say. Or, I wonder if they're in the same tune even. And if they're not, maybe the gear ratios are different. 
perhaps, perhaps. Also, Sakura just overtook um, Infernus for P12, so I think Infernus just exited the pits because of yes, that. Yes, I saw him being in the pits. Yeah, Sakura having to lick his wounds, although perhaps a little bit of a saving factor is that if he keeps his position as it is now, he will be starting third in the Inverse Grid race at Spa, which is a track of sort of question for this series, considering oh, Rouge and Rodion uh, and their history. And should I speak of how many wished it would to be a rain today on Spa? A lot of people, but um, honestly, after this year's race at Spa for Formula 1, I don't think anyone wants to win race at Spa. Oh, you mean the flooding of a rogue? <laughs> or, or, or is it Raelian? I don't remember the exact name. Uh, yeah, I no, think not the flooding, just the whole like the thing with Spa is it's it's sort of own microclimate uh, like the climate. It's uh, you can't really predict the weather because it can literally change on an instant, just depending on how you know it is. Like uh, for example, I can confirm that because this year I've been to the four hours of Spa for the Ildemes race over there. Um. Like, it was very hot and, you know, it was warm and, like, sunny when I was there, but, like, a few weeks earlier, it was just pouring rain. That sort of, like, a microclimate for a racetrack? That's really rare. And then we have the bloody rain that's, like, uh, <laughs> the longest oh, track uh, on the earth. Uh, sorry to interrupt, sorry to interrupt, but we have a bit of a battle still going on between Altos and Joubert. Altos was closing the gap very quickly, to be honest. Maybe a bit of a dive bomb was going on there. Meanwhile, Zero knew his R's also in the pits. Mm. I have no idea what's uh, keeping Heiko this long um, before he can pit, but he's losing a lot of time. Also, Aaron McGrath in his Valentino Rossi tribute delivery. Trying to hold up Mesa Sphere as long as possible. An interesting battle developing here. Let's see if Mesa can find his way past uh, Aaron McGrath. Although Aaron is sort of on the losing side of this because he has... Wait, has Aaron actually pitted yet alongside no. Mesa? No. No? Don't believe he has, no. Interesting. Let's see how that will develop. In the meantime, I don't see a lot of battles developing. I mean, we have Alan Toast and Schubert, but they're not exactly close, although... I think the most interesting be... right now... Oh, and then I'm going to go to the pits! So, in the pits he goes, so that means... Mesa and Heiko better get a move on because Aaron might perhaps be in the running for a uh, shock win if it goes his way, of course. We don't know uh, when uh, Heiko and Mesa will go in the pits. Same with Stuck was also staying out very, very long. I believe the top three have yet to do a pit stop. Stuck definitely has to take a pit stop because he's bringing up the rear, remember? His time was in the 123. Oh, now Kroy's on P4. So P4 for Crow. I think in Crow is in currently oh, the best position possible. And Crow and uh, my girl just lost another position, so he's currently in P6. Yes, Arrow grab now in P6. He is. Uh, he's fact, chasing Sainty. So well, this shows that Sainty has also taken a pit stop, isn't it? This shows that Sainty has done his pit stop. So that means Sainty is currently in at least in front of Aaron. However, Mesa has not stopped yet. Uh, I think Crow has stopped as well. He has. So that means I believe Crow is then the net race lead. Yeah, Crow is the current um, net race leader with Sainty then second and uh, Aaron McGrath third. Um, currently, our top three has not pitted yet. Although I believe Heiko is going to at least be P1, if not P2. He... Heiko is not pitting yet, isn't it? No, he hasn't. He... So, 
that means he's currently down on pay like he's currently not going I don't even know if he's gonna stay in first. Um looking at where P4 Yeah no he's not gonna stay in first. Crow is way too all way too fast cur currently. He's losing a lot of time, so if my calculations are correct, Heiko will at least be fourth. However, that of course remains to be seen. In the meantime, let's quickly go over our race, uh, our race positions rundown. Currently in the lead, although not be having pitted yet, is Heiko Mesa van Stuck. In fact, um, quickly update on Mesa's pace. He's quickly gaining on Heiko, so I think Mesa might actually be looking at an overtake here in the next few. Uh, laps if he keeps the pace up like that. Then we have Crow in fourth, who is a, the race net or the net race leader. There we go. Then we have Sainty, Aaron, Joubert, Sakura, who is currently on um, on the fast comeback. Then Alan Toast, Zero Nozar, Nelly, who's um, currently 11th, and I think he's one of the or it is one of the um, rookies currently because I have not seen him. In a previous FTC race, then we have Furnace. I uh, think they actually Cosman have shown Jax. up before, just don't remember what series they showed up in. I can't remember, unfortunately. I've not seen them before uh, from either a broadcast perspective or just watching in chats. But uh, yeah, Heiko is currently not looking good in terms of uh, keeping that P1. Mesa is on fast approach and cutting a lot of time, in fact. So Heiko has uh, has everything to lose. I recommend just spinning right now, Heiko. You're you're losing a lot of time compared to Mesa. Either Mesa is faster, or you're being slower than him. Or he's making a lot of mistakes that's costing him time. I d I don't see Heiko making that many mistakes, if any at all. He's keeping it just clean, so I think Mesa's just faster. And that's pretty much all that's going on. Actually, no, maybe not all, because it's still a bit of a battle between uh, Zero and Nelly, although Zero is uh, gaining ground over Nelly here. Let's drop back to our battle for the lead. Yeah, no, Mesa is on. I, I think Mesa is going to be... On the rear bumper of Heiko in the next four-ish laps. Actually, no, that's another, I would say two more laps, and he will be under the two-ish seconds. Uh, Stuck has now entered the pits, or rather exited the pits, and dropping back to P9. And looking further down, I suppose I'll stay on board for a little bit with Zero Nozar and uh, Nelly here, because that's the closest currently out on track. So yeah, action a little bit spread out, a bit of a stalemate, and we're only, what, four more laps, three more laps even uh, away from the, actually no, four more laps away from the race uh, end. And the pit window will be also closing in the next three laps. No, it's closing on the second to last lap. Yeah, but you have lap 14, lap 15, and lap 16. That's three more laps. But yeah, we're currently just awaiting... Where is our... Only 2.4 seconds. Uh, Heiko is losing a lot of time each lap, so I I generally don't know why he has not pitted yet. He's losing time. Why has he not pitted yet? And with Mesa on, on fast approach, I don't think Heiko can uh, afford to lose any more time. In fact, it's almost down to just two seconds. If it keeps going like that, Hi like Heiko will have to defend for the fa last few laps. Under two seconds now. 
Oh, we got the battle between the Hussar and the Nelly now. Well, I mean, it's not really a battle. They're just still in single file. They're not super close. Oh, hold on. Mesa just went in, into the pits. Mesa just went in the pits, so that means Heiko might be going into the pits this lap. Question is, can Heiko currently build up the necessary time to at least reach that pit stop and I'll lose out on position? And here comes Crow. Like I said, race net race leader. So if all goes well, Crow will be winning this race. So all down to Heiko right now. I recommend pitting now because he's losing a lot of time compared to our friend Mace. I was currently now on fresher tires. And he only went to P3. I guess currently 22 seconds ahead of Crow. That will not be enough. I don't think that will be enough. Mm. Well, it's not important to compare to Crow. It's compared to how he measures to Mace's sphere. Uh, that's about what now? Um, 26, roughly. Yeah, about 26-ish uh, seconds. So, yeah, Heiko went in the pits. Heiko went in the pits. So the question is now, where will he rejoin? Pro is approaching now of the... Uh, the, the, the... Well, not really a very welcome help oh, here for this on racetrack. Oh, Heiko yeah. is gonna lose P1. He will lose P1. Here comes Crow on the star finish straight. He recovers. I'm currently Lumia. watching Misa. Oh, he might just get ahead of Misa no. still. Yeah, at least no. the race leader. No, no, he control, was gonna lose it. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. He, he might even yeah. lose it to Sainty. Oh, he just he gets behind. Only just. Sainty will be kicking himself. And only two laps, two more laps to go, so they better get a hustle on. If and look at the gap if Crow has. Uh, Crow is pretty much on fire in this race, and he will be almost likely keeping that lead. Although can Mesa maybe do a little bit more compared to Mesa, um, Crow is on the uh, more more tires. And of course, these Mercedes trucks do a lot. What Heiko just blocked a major die bomb attempt from Sainty. Sainty is a bit is a bit uh, enthusiastic about his dive bombs today. I think he's trying to make moves that's not going in his favor today. Yeah, perhaps uh, maybe dial down the ambition a little bit. Although ambition, we do like to see it on the FTC channel. But do keep in mind he was the previous champion, so I think he's trying to defend that title. He's taking risk in order to keep that title, so I hope Sainty can do that, but yeah, going on to the final uh, lap currently on Catalonia, race leader is currently Crow. After a, well, Sainty would have been in the lead if it didn't make that dive bomb on, uh, I think it was, uh, was it Crow? It, Mesa? I don't know. Uh, meantime, um, yeah, let's go quickly go on board with uh, Crow, who's currently old. Actually, no, is it currently? It's maybe a little bit of action going on for P3 in this race. So that means the. Actually, no, that means because we're going on reverse, that won't really matter much. But here comes Sainty. He has one more dive bomb, bomb to attempt to make, but he doesn't go for the move. And Heiko hoping to P3. It's a difficult overtaking here in the final section of the track. And I don't think much will change. Hold on, it's a bit of a cluster. Further back for P7. Jubert is holding on, holding down Alan Toast. Here comes Alan Toast on the inside line and gets P7, but he has to defend it in the hairpin now. Here comes Jubert around the outside and slots in behind Alan. But that will have to wait at least for a little bit. But here comes out of the final turn Crow capitalizing on the Nova or ambitious dive bomb from Sainty. However, he will be starting down 
in the last position for race two with Mesa collecting P2, Heiko P3, Sainty P4. How is our how are our friends Jubert and Co doing? Where's Jubert? Where is Jubert? He's current. Yeah, he will lose out. Say Alan Tovin ball on the last lap secures P7 and Jubert P8, which took closely in ninth. And that will guarantee at least. Uh, actually, who will be starting then on the lap? Big boss man Jax most likely will start on the reverse grid pole. It's going to be interesting. So, yeah, coming out of final turn now, here is Big Boss Man Jax finishing his race and will be starting on the pole position for the race at Spa. Um, what are you doing there in the back of Seo? Getting some snacks. We keep my you're on hearing it. It's streaming you're, you're not sharing. <laughs> sharing you remember what they said in Haseo, sharing is caring. That's all right, I also miss it new some uh car manager companion that you don't get to. Oh, sorry. Quickly checking if, uh, well, let's see, quickly checking if it is indeed a, um, reverse grid pole. Yes, it is a reverse grid, so Jax will be starting on pole position. Oh, oh and on spa. Beautiful spa, you know, everyone probably knows, uh, in these, uh, Small esports races. Spa is, a, is my favorite track in the world. I'm totally not biased for saying that because I'm Belgian. That was the doesn't say the one who lives probably not too far away from it. I live about what is it? One and a half hours away from the track. That that's still a long drive. It really is a long drive. So yeah, now we're currently waiting for the transition to Spa Francochon. Now, interestingly, um, Spa has currently revealed um, the modification or the changed layout that they're going to be adapting for Rouge and Radion. Um, this, in response to the a bit of a calamity accident happening at um, Rouge and Radion following W Series. And uh, the 24 hours of Spa uh, a couple of months ago. <clears throat> so we're changing the uh, corners uh, combination a little bit to uh, hopefully at least remove a little bit of the speed. What they've essentially done is when the corner, when the transition happens from Orouge to Radion, that um, sudden switch to the right, They've skewed that a little bit to the left, therefore slowing the corner down without adding too much uh, runoff, which is a bit difficult because of the topography of the track. But yes, it's cool to see that again, again commented over arguably one of the, if not the most beautiful racetrack in the world. The thing with what makes it so good is that the track is formed by nature. It's formed by its terrain. And these days you simply cannot do that. Actually, Seo, do you does Norway have like a racetrack or like a professional racetrack on Tarmac and not like, you know, a local dirt circuit? Uh, have you ever heard of uh, Rutskogen? It's uh, the, the, what was that? I I I don't speak Viking. <laughs> have Have you ever heard of oh, well again the um, drift or Gatebil? No, the, in it's fact, the only Norwegian the only Norwegian racetrack that I know is uh, Hell for uh, the the rally cross racing. <laughs> Oh, you mean a made-up shit? Wait, what do you mean made-up? What do you mean made-up shit? You mean from uh, dirt? 
Oh, no, wait, not that. No, 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 that's not the Norway Dragon I'm talking about. I'm talking about the the, 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 the real-life Rallycross track in Norway. Search it up. Rallycross Norway. Hell. Uh, that's, that's not even called. <laughs> Wait, what? It's called Lonkebakenbanen. Wait, that, that's the actual name? <laughs> yes! Of that then why do they call it Hell? No, it's they... they always call it Hell. The series is called Hell Rally Cross. My entire life has been a lie. Oh, there's another one I don't remember the name of. So, yeah, we're just now awaiting... And then we also the... have uh, Wollerbahn. Yeah, like, again, I don't, speak, yeah. I don't speak Viking. I'm sending you to your DMs as well, so yeah, you have that, the proper that, spelling. That, that's perfect. That, that, that way I can uh, check the layouts myself. Although, with the one that's called the Ruskogin, that's... kind of being annoying circumstances for, because... Let's see, Ruskogin Raceway. With that, it's... There's so much shit that having potentially closed down because of people complaining about noise. If people decide to live near but a the racetrack... Problem, but no, not, no. The problem is, it's not a racetrack. It's people racing in the woods next door. Ah, yeah, but... They're complaining people... that that doesn't even reflect the track layout. They are like off-roading. That's the noise yeah. they're complaining about, from what I mean, my understanding. Oh, but, um, yeah, we'll probably discuss it maybe later down the line, because we're getting ready for the second race of today. Jax Alpol, Tonic alongside him, Evan Furnace and Nelly. I'm expecting a bit of a traffic jam going up on Eau Rouge and Rodeo and the Camel Strait, but that will be all revealed for the second race of the third round of Season 2 of the Truck Series. Haseo, are you ready? Let's get into the rock ball. Pulse racing, heartbeat increasing. The drivers are ready. And it's go time at Spa. Race 2 is underway. Good start from Infernus looking away around the outside of Jack going to La Source. Jack going on the inside and now cutting back inside. But here comes Infernus. And it's Nelly. Now. Oh my goodness. Look at the field after the first oh hairpin. No, they're not going are they and they're oh, going on. That's a restart. Did did I just I oh my You know what this looks like? This looks like a repeat of Spa 9098. But then in the dry end of trucks. Oh my god. <laughs> this this has be this has got to be the single worst race start I've seen in my entire career of commentary. Oh, you need to see nothing yet. I'm not sure if you've seen more because I, I I mean you've seen clearly more. Do you remember uh, the Focus Cup on Long oh, Beach? Man, that's been a long time ago. Long Beach Focus, that was carnage. Uh, no, that that was just sheer. Uh, that was just a television derby. <laughs> That's a fact. Oh, somebody forgot to delay. Ah, uh, that may explain why there was a bit of a spa 1998 happening. However, this is going to be the second try for this race. We currently we at most go with three restarts in total. Um. So we better keep it clean, or otherwise, no more restarts. And if there's no more restarts, that's it. If it happens, it happens.
So currently awaiting the final race countdown timer. There it is. So we're going to try this again. So once more, Sterijax on the front position with Tonic alongside him. In first, in third, and Nelly in P4. And Carver bringing up the rear. He joined late on, but let's see what will happen. Put the drop the dinner, put the babies to bed. Race 2 is about to get underway again here at Spa. And it's go time once more at Spa. Here we go. In first gets a um, gets not the greatest launch, and here is Jack's already. Uh, keep in mind, they the keep in mind they had a delayed start for everybody. So yeah, with that delay now on the way, I say we go racing here, and Jax is already trying to run away as fast as possible. <laughs> I don't think that will stay for long. He's taking the opportunity to at least get some clean air before everybody goes. What's this section called but again? That won't matter. Look, here we go. Oh, Rouge and Rallion. Here's Infernus. They're cutting back. At least there's no incident. At least you can pronounce it correctly while I'm struggling as hell. Yeah, and here Infernus a bad exit through for Rallion and already feeling on the straight. He's already losing position and already down to fifths. <laughs> So, yeah, not the greatest star for Infernus. Uh, and now Jack's trying to run away as fast as possible uh, because here comes the pack. <laughs> here comes the entire pack. They're all starting to slightly bunch up, but they also have to find their way past Sonic. And we know that could cause a little bit of a traffic jam. Here we go, through Bruxelles. They now go, it's a, look, look at the traffic jam developing by Nelly. It's a bit of a scramble, as I sometimes say on in the commentary box. But yeah, it's a bit of a scramble indeed. It's almost three wide between them in the back. The more they tangle, the more time they lose with the front. To do through, do the Lagos, they go. This, this should not be working. Why have we put Spa on the calendar? Is that say the more stupid cards you put on the racetrack, the more fun the merit it becomes? I don't even know why I bothered you. <laughs> even though um, that's happening. Yeah, it's a, I, I have no idea who's side by side. They're all side by side. I mean, they're keeping it clean at least, which is um, which was one of my main concerns surrounding Spa and these kind of trucks. Wait, hold on. Misa is still here. Then he was only there in race one! Uh, yeah, don't forget, he, uh, Mesa was high, uh, one of the higher finishers, so he had to start away. No, 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 no. Don't you remember he used to dip after race two to whack a races? Oh, oh yeah, the, yeah, he, some, he, does the, he does these uh, wacky race things uh, in some other channel that I, uh, I have no idea. Oh, hold on, I think Alan, oh yeah, we're now coming up on the bus stop chicane. Um, interesting fact about the bus chicane, that, the flick going left, right, that, uh, oh, Alan Toast clips the tire barrier, and that allows a bit of a bunch up half, uh, out of the track. Oh my god, it's almost free. <laughs> what are track limits? <laughs> yeah, I, I, and, and by the way, Jax managed to keep the lead for an entire lap. Who would have <laughs> taught that? Away. He's even running away! What is going on? What do you I, I I have no clue at this point. I, I genuinely have no clue what's going on at this point. Am I watching a race or am I watching Jax just running away? I think we found a track that suits Jax. <laughs> For no, some reason no, no, in this no. track. He, he, I think he set that timer specifically in his advantage. So he can just like, <laughs> hey guys, I think I'm in the lead. Well, welcome to chat there. Uh, this 85 is alive. Oh, here comes Mace looking for a dive bomb in Bruxelles and collecting Jubert on the way out. Uh, yeah, they're they're tangling. Here's Jubert on the outside and he can be overtaken by Antos as well. But here comes, uh, in fact, Tonic is even losing positions, already dropping down to seventh and losing a lot of time. Tonic is already feeling the pressure. 
and yeah, here comes the traffic jam a bit. Here is Saints on the inside of Dupla Gauche now. It's going time. right as and we have a lot. Jubert. I lost. We have a lot of traffic currently going on the track as Gogopter is trying to commentate over us. I'm trying to speed the chat. <laughs> I, I'm just, I'm just baffled with all of the. Ch <laughs> We have a pretty jam. <laughs> it's a pretty pack jam spot today on trucks. Where, for some odd reason, it works with close racing. Although keep in mind, they started in the reverse grid from the previous race, so the fans of people on the back. They started with a delay. They started with a delay, so we saw what the delay did did prevent in the first attempt. Yes. I mean, we had a we had a reincarnation of Spa 9098, but uh, I think Jack is being caught right now. Zero New Hazard, who's currently on the prowl. Jax is about to lose his love P1 for well, at least well, pretty much the entire race. So let's watch. Oh, here comes Sakuran on the outside, Evil Stuk. Oh, we got the major contact in chicane section. Oh, a few people decide to dip into the pits. Oh, they keep in mind, they don't have a big pit window here on the spot because of the length of the track. You have to yes, know correctly when to pit. Yeah, that is true. Longer track means less laps, means less time for pitting. Uh, meanwhile, on the on the lead, here comes a Zero New Hazard. He's on the insides, or at least rather the outside or inside. I don't know how this goes. Here we go. Up on Rouge and Zero New Hazard backs out. And that allows Nelly to come in closer. I think Jax had the better exit on the out of Ramion, so he seems to have temporary control on the Campbell Strait, which is rather crucial. If you lose, if you mess up on Rouge and you're gonna feel them camp on the Campbell Strait. And side by side they go, Zero Hazard and Nelly into Le Combe. The two Malbadi we go right now. Zero Hazard holding down his P2, probably and family. And Sakura's even on the chart of his own because uh, he's catching up as well. It's like Jax is still keeping in front. Rem remember, he's currently leading two and a half laps almost. We should be reaching. We, we should. This is something we should not be seeing. <laughs> and keep in mind, you know, he's not sober. I I I I'm lost for words. <laughs> I, I'm 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 doing a lot. Oh, he goes wide. That might allow zero new art. No, th there's not. There's just not enough room. He's trying to poke them, but can, I think he's struggling for grip to make the move. Oh, here comes Nelly with a giant dive bomb. Side by side they go, Sack looking for a way, opportunity to uh, capitalize, and here is the Hussar. A little bit of bumping and grinding between them, meaning that Hussar keeps P2, but uh, Nelly uh, is not done yet. It's Nelly! Side by side they go! <laughs> Nelly is not giving up. Sakura. <laughs> Sakura got the drive. No, but but um, Sakura sort of. Um, I think he just passed out of track limits. Oh, and, and then from oh, 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 here goes Visa. Four wide. How wide? How many wide are they? I can't see. Four. That was four wide. And Sakurai's now. Oh, oh major oh. jungle in the final corner at the chicane. Misa <laughs> went for a dive at the final end. And, ooh, he's clipped Sakura. Lost the biggest amount of time. And by the way, Stereo Jack is now three race laps into the race. Leads. I think this battling behind him. He's like. What the hell are you doing, Biden? Why, why are you guys still making him a lead? Go away! <laughs> <laughs> this is the most... Like, this is just a clown. I'm not even sure what to call this race. And did not people question Spa a lot with these trucks? I was one of them. <laughs> and you see why we went with it? Uh, still no. I mean, we uh, this was all possible because of a delay, you know. Still, it's a. Is this uh, what you wish for? Carnage, action. 
Run! No, I'm just, I'm just, you know what I'm seeing? <laughs> memes. I'm just seeing memes. <laughs> and memes! <laughs> oh, here comes Aaron McGregor on the outside on the crow here. Then through Malbadi on the inside and they bump and grind. Crow goes into the gravel! Come on, the doctor! Chase we down should, the toes! We should, we should perhaps uh, mention this. So, um, this livery has been made in tribute of legendary motorcycle um, veteran, pretty much. Valentino Rossi, uh, arguably one of the greatest uh, motorcycle racers on the planet. And honestly, with a career like that, he deserves all the respect and praise. I've not never, I've never been, you know, a big motorcycle racer. Not me myself. either, but it's still. It. I, I respect, respect it for. I, yes, I might not be a fan of the sport itself to watch, but when you see picture of what happens when things go wrong and. Yes, that that's true. It's it. You have to just respect the sport because I have a lot of respect for that. Absolutely. In a car, yeah, you have roll cage. You have potential airbag. Well, not yes. airbag, but you have safety straps keeping you yes. in the seat. On motorcycles, all you have is a bodysuit and a helmet. Correct. And um, also, interesting fact about Valtteri Rossi, he actually did some testing. Back in 2004, for Ferrari, and his times are not even too shabby. I think it decides oh, to keep. Oh, just overtook uh, zero Noah's R for P3. By the way, uh, just have to mention that. Oh, and Jax is currently in P2, but he goes for a pit with Misa. This is gonna it's be interesting. Sakuras oh, no, no. went ahead. He might yeah, get no, passed. No, I, I confused that with zero Noah's R. Um, but keep in mind. Sorry. He led for almost four laps. Yes, I think that will be the single greatest meme of tonight. <laughs> oh, we got Saint oh, Heiko oh. and Juber going to the chicane, telling each other its bumpers. What we'll see in the first hairpin. Oh yeah, here we go. Infernus now overtaking Tomic down the um, old star finish straight of the track. Uh, and Tolik will be forcing uh, to yield under Infernus' pressure and having to resign her position. Speaking of that, he said the old finish, right? What's the reason for his changing to the current location that's now? I actually don't really know, to be honest. I I have a feeling of why, though. You want I to think hit because of just safety. Exactly. Because of, you know, that downhill down versus or flat. Downhill, that's actually very dangerous. And it has cost people their lives a lot. And, but that's the reason why soldiers have to, are forced to undergo a change, is to meet seat requirements to avoid deaths. Actually, no. In fact, I think, um, like, you know how the Nurburgring was the most dangerous track in the world? You know, back in the 50s, 60s, and all that stuff? Yeah. I I bet I dare say that Spa was easily the second most dangerous in the world because first of all it was a very large track back in the day. In fact, isn't there also um, an Italian track on this list that's like very dangerous? Uh, what? Well, well, uh, Target Florio, isn't it? I, I don't remember. Isn't that one track where one Formula One driver lost their lives? I I wouldn't know, unfortunately. However, uh, we've been focusing a lot on the t on the front pack, and I think we're gonna need to do. Uh, we're not gonna do that too much now because uh, let's take a quick look down in the further back because Jax just went wide here and has to yield under the pressure from uh, Mesa now. San Marino. So... Oh, Imola. But Imola. That was, but Imola was built a lot a lot later. Still, but that, that was, was also in the... yeah, but that also was the race that Eaton Cena passed away in a crash. Yeah, er, yeah no, technically it raced under the San Marino banner because um, the rules technically say that all like per track, like every nation can have you know one Grand Grand Prix after it named after its own country, you know. See. So that's why. So that's why they also named the, um, you know, the race in Imola before, like, back back then, the San Marino Grand Prix. 
Or, like, if you're called the Nürburgring, uh, you can have even multiple names. You can have the Luxembourg Grand Prix or the European Grand Prix. Because the oh, German yeah, because Prix, the Luxembourg is cl is so small, they're gonna abuse it. Because of its yeah, it was actually name. very close to uh, the Luxembourg um, region. I think that's the smallest country I know of on Earth that has so many ba country boundaries around it. I I don't know. Also, Crow just moved into P2 currently. They're currently battling out. Actually, no, we haven't even seen that. How dare we not mention that? Let's go back to P2 because I think it's a bit of a battle. Yeah, uh, actually, no. Aaron McGrath actually took P2 back from Crow. And I believe these have not done a pit stop yet. Oh, hold on a second. Who stopped on track? It's Hazar. Hazar has stopped on track for some oddball reason, and I don't know why. I wonder what's happened. And usually we'll be in chat talking to us, so I don't really know what happens. So, yeah, um, I suppose if we get more information on that story, we'll elaborate on it, but... Yeah, for, for now, we have nothing to mention. Uh, meanwhile, we have a battle developing between Mesa Sphere and Stug. Um, I think this is probably going to be one way, um, or like one-sided. And no, he yeah, here it comes for the dive. They rub and bump and grind, but Stug holds down the position for now. And I think Crow is about to make an overtake on Aaron McGrath. Yeah, here we go. Side by side, they go to Bonchamont. They are going right now. One of them will have to yield. And I they think... don't seem to yield. <laughs> and, although I think McGrath had a little too much speed and overestimated the <laughs> grip yes. of the track. A little bit too much. However, Crow decides he has enough of that battle lane, goes in the pits, perhaps a wise move, as he would be losing a lot of time behind the grass. And that means, I don't think, I think Tonic Infernus, I think t five people in the top six have yet to do a pit stop. Yeah, I suppose that would be a interesting founding. Also, can you already see that it's already on, that we're already on the seventh lap? We're already on the seventh lap. That's crazy. And meanwhile, Sakurai's in the leads. So Sakurai's... I think Sakurai's gonna stay... Is not gonna stay out for much longer. Most likely will be pitting this lap to at least... They have to pit this or next, otherwise... Yes. Otherwise, that's a DQ because you have to take a pit stop. Um, so yeah, let's see how that develops. Meanwhile, let's go do the midfield. It's a bit, uh, it's a bit more active here. Stuck already lost the position to Mesa, who's currently in P3, but Mesa has already taken his pit stop. So I think he's currently our net race leader. Also, Sainty and Heiko trying to mount a charge for Stuck. Trying to catch up to the Mesa Sphere, but he they better do it quick because they're running out of time and track. Also, I think... The, yeah, Zero Nuzar has moved as well, so... I have no idea what's going on. Um, yeah, just... He's moving, but he's not driving. Probably parked his vehicle in a safe location, but I think the stewards will be investigating that. So, yeah, we're currently just waiting uh, on either Sakura to go into the pits or to see if some drama unfolds. Oh, here we go, Jackson. Um, Alan Toast side by side to go. Here's Jackson now on the inside, and Zhuman is joining the three as well, as well as Carver. Four way five for P8. Oh my goodness! Still a lot of action and going Jackson on. And Jackson in the gravel and collects them all. It's a bit of a, here comes Ruby on the inside. Free wide they go through Pooh Hole, I believe that is. 
Jack is now starting to hold everybody up. And Carver overtaking Juber now for P10. And Sakura just stayed out, so that means he will be pitting this lap. Sainty trying to go pat way around. I think Stuck just squeezed them off the track, but here comes Sainty going to the inside line now. It's Eau Rouge. I, I, I mean, La uh, my mistake there. Sainty now diving and makes the move stick for once. However, he's not really gaining that much time as Heiko is also on fast approach. Same with Crow. Here comes Stuck now on the inside, going down to Eau Rouge. I think Sainty will have to back out out of this one. He's not. Oh, oh, yep. That's what he get for not backing out. And, uh, and uh, yeah, track lines are being slightly ignored, ignored. And here comes Heiko overtaking Sainty now on the uh, Camel Straits. Also, what's going on in the back? We have a bit of a scrap between Jax and Tolik again. Oh, oh, Heiko! He's rolling! Wait, what? Heiko rolled? Oh my god, what happened? I don't completely know. Not I was sure looking at the map and then I suddenly see in the background that Heiko's flipping and... Hold on, I I'm, I'm gonna do a little sneak here. I hope that's called on stream because I go. How do you want to tell us what happened? Uh, yeah, you better tell us right now, buddy, because uh, I don't know Hold what on. that was, but that looked epic. Oh, there we go. Hi, Cuff. How will you tell that, Aldis? What in the world happened? I got spun. Mm. <laughs> Let's just say hi. Sainty boy no. just spun me on the street. Open things. That's like, what we should be saying. Also, oh, speaking of Tolik, he's not did. showing up. Oh, here we go. Tolik, a big goodness. aggressive here against Big Boss Man Jax. Hold on, I just had to jump in and ask. Good luck racing still. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, Sakura has just entered the pit lane. And I think Aaron will be joining him as well because I don't think Aaron has taken his pit stop yet. Okay, this is going to be crucial. Mesa is on fast approach. I, I think Sakura might even keep the race lead, but he needs to get that stop done quickly because Mesa is approaching the bus stop chicane as we speak. Yeah, Sakura is rolling. So is McGrath. Sakura will do it. Sakura no, McGrath is standing still right now. Oh, and he's out. He keeps race lead. Sakura is currently in the race lead on the final lap here at Spa. But also keep program. in mind, at the moment, Sakura is the overall race leader as well in the yes, championship. That's what I'm saying. Race leader is currently Sakura. And championship leader. Oh my god. The, 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 oh yes, my boy. Let's go, Sakura. Let's go. Okay, let's see what's going down. Um, yeah, for currently final lap, the, the, there's a couple of house developing. <laughs> I don't really know what to watch because it's a bit, uh, bit. I, I, I don't know. I'm just happy that Sakura is in the race leads. And he has a nine-second gap on the final lap. So... There's no way Sakurai is losing this without a disconnect. Or a major spin in the gravel. I don't think that will happen. Sakurai is going to keep it easy. Meanwhile, there's a bit of a battle sc scrap going on between... Uh, uh, who is that? I can't really see... If, uh, is that? Um, Alan Toast and Carver. Alan Toast made it before, uh, performed an overtake round. Uh, what happened currently with Crow? He missed his breaking point. I'm not entirely sure what's going on with Crow. Um, interesting development. And what's that with Saint? Sainty is stopping out on track as well. I think I he's. Think I think he's. No, I think. I wonder if he's waiting on Heiko. 
perhaps it, uh, due to, to the circumstances of pre previous lap. Also, Aaron McGrath trying to force his way around Stuck. His time is running out thick and fast. He better make that move stick soon. But I don't think that will count. Come on, McGrath! You keep an Do eye it on for the doctor! Keep, uh, keep, you keep your eye on them because I'm keeping my eye on arguably as a big surprise and a big smile on my face right now. Out of Boshima he comes. Sakura has pulled an amazing strategy and made it work somehow. Approaching the bus stop chicane now. Here we go. And keeping the position he will. Here he comes. Sakura will keep the race lead. And he will secure race two. I don't know what to say. I'm just so happy for him. Oh, Get Stug is there, not covering the inside. Oh, McGrath. Oh, he. Oh, McGrath. He's trying. But, ah, oh, Stug just oh, hold it together. He will not. Stug keeps P3. Podium for Stug. Good job on you, sir. And then with uh, Alan Toast in fifth. We'll go Drag Race with High Crack Crow. Which will be going to Heiko. Then it's Nelly, I believe, in tenth. Yes, it is. And Sainty. Sainty only eleventh. And Jax in the end. I think he's... No, 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 don't think so. No, B for T for Jax. Tonic will be ring of the rear. So that's... I don't think Tonic will be pretty happy about that. And Although... Too. <sighs> My draw of the day... Suggestion is Jax. Do I go with that, or will I be... Um, no, I, I can't. I, oh, man. No, no, it, it has to be Jax. No, 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 no. It has to, Just because of the sheer meme value his, his first few laps were. Oh. So, suppose that we have decided? Science here del have delivered. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, your driver of the day for round three of the FTC Truck Series Championship Season 2 will be Jax, who somehow kept the race lead for close three to, laps. Close to four. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea how that was possible. So, uh, yeah. Th that's race. That's the, the third round. Interesting racing today. I am positively surprised with Spa somehow delivering, although we needed a bit of a delay to make that happen. And that, I believe, the timer. Or, I don't think... Yeah, I have no... Uh, I suppose we're just waiting on the cars to return to... Cars, trucks to return to the pits. Oh, uh, apparently the incident between Hi with Heiko was due to Forza glue. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I think it was. There might be a steering quarter for that one, just to see what actually yes. happened. R probably. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is everything for today. Haseo, can you tell the lovely folks in the chat what's coming up soon? Well, uh, there will be a new academy on Sunday. Um, eight. Wait. Usually, it started eight p.m. GMT. However, they might start it a little bit earlier, depending on the Formula One Grand Prix. Unless that's a different... So they try to accommodate the time for that. Otherwise... On Tuesday! We're starting with a new series! Yes, a new series is upon us. Uh, have they actually announced that on Twitter already? Yes, it was announced four days ago. It's the Historic Touring Car Championship, Hey TTC! Where we have an yes. Alfa Romeo 155. We got the BMW E36 M3, the 
I also have a Volvo 850. Is it the R version? If I don't remember wrong. And, and last but not one more least. Car. There's one more car, and I'm very happy it's in that series. It oh, is are, we gonna, are we gonna drop the bomb of your bloody gallant? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody knows how powerful my Mission Music Love was in Horizon 4. <laughs> it was the most unnecessary death. In Horizon 5, and I'm still pissed at Playground Games for actually traffic turning it into a traffic car. The, why? The, it, do, it didn't deserve this fate. They could have kept it as a traffic car and also add it as a driver car, so when they're doing like a secret hunter player, they can like mend in or vice versa of hunters, hunter survivors or something kind of a game mode so, sort of yeah sort of like that but yeah i'm looking forward to how to see how the galombo perform in that series anyway ladies and gentlemen boys and girls of age thank you very very much for tuning into tonight's racing action i've been fs gents my co-host today was a sayo we thank you for watching today and we'll see you for the next race coming up soon take care and bye well, that will be all for night. Good night, everybody!